If the recent update screwed up your modded game, don't worry, by the end of this guide, you'll have your game working again and back to modding. If you'd rather just wait for a quick downgrade, check the video description for the simple Fallout 4 downgrader and for link guides if you need more help. Before we get into downgrading, we need to do three crucial steps. First step, Vortex users. Hit purge mods, then create and switch to a new modding profile. ML2 users. All you need to do is create and switch to a new modding profile and close your mod managers. Step two, since Steam downloads the depots to its content folder, you'll need to make sure you have at least 60 to 90 gigabytes of free space and to make sure your game slash Steam is outside of program files. It's pretty quick and I have a guide link in the description. Step three, we're going to make a quick backup of your saved games and your Fallout 4 if you have it installed. Just go into your documents, my games, and rename your Fallout 4 folder to Fallout 4 Backup and to your Steam Apps common folder and rename your Fallout 4 folder to Fallout 4 Backup. Now we're ready to downgrade. Let's open the Steam console. The easiest way to open it is to copy and paste this code into your web browser. Press enter and the console should open up. If it doesn't work, I linked the guide in the description. Next, we must check what DLCs you own. Right-click Fallout 4 in your Steam library. Go to Properties and look at the DLC tab. Only download the depot for every DLC you own. I highly recommend just using the guide I posted on Reddit to follow along. Copy and paste each depot code in order into the console one at a time. The time may vary largely for you, which is why I added the file size and the number of files so you can use these numbers to see if your download was successful. Once you're finished, we can merge the files together. Go to your Steam apps slash common folder and create a new folder called Fallout 4 Downgrade. Right click and open it into a new window. Go back to your open Steam apps slash common folder, click Steam apps in the bar at the top, open the content folder and open at 377.160. This is where the depots you just downloaded are. All right, for these first three folders, you just need to make sure they overwrite correctly. Open the folder 377.161, cut and paste or drag this into your Fallout 4 downgrade folder. Then go back and open the folder 377.162, do the same and drag it over. Then open the folder 377.163. Move it into your new folder and let it replace anything. And with the rest of the folders, just drag their contents in the order I have in my guide or in the video description. Now with your Fallout 4 downgrade folder complete, it's time to install F4FC. Go to F4FC. We need version 0.6.23. Open the archive and drag these directly into your Fallout 4 downgrade folder. And click the Fallout 4 launcher. Let it determine your graphics quality. Hit OK. Tick borderless window and your correct resolution. Hit OK. Then exit the launcher. Then load the game via F4SC. In your game settings, you should see F4FC. So now you're ready for the final step. Rename your Fallout 4 downgrade folder to Fallout 4. We need to make sure Steam doesn't auto update it. This step is just following my how to save your Fallout 4 from Steam updates for good. Now back to your mod managers. Since you renamed your Fallout 4 downgrade to Fallout 4, your mod managers should behave as normal when you open them. You have a choice to enable your mods a few at a time and troubleshoot on this new modded profile, or if your game worked prior to the update, you can just switch back to your default profile and just launch on the game via F4FC in your mod manager from now on. Hope this guide gets you back to modding.